you just wrote this book uh, about uh, development and, and poverty, in which you say that uh, poverty is the main uh, human rights crisis in the world today. Now, why, to your understanding, would that be? I say poverty is the main uh, human rights crisis today because if you look at the experience, if you look at the lives of poor people, they live with discrimination, they live in insecurity, they are excluded and marginalized and have no power. Uh, these are essential features of poverty. These are human rights problems and these are the issues that keep people trapped in poverty. Would, would that mean also that if we would give everybody a basic income, those problems would disappear? Well, the reality is that just increasing your income from $1 a day to $2 a day doesn't mean that you are not beaten up uh, if you're a woman. It doesn't mean that you're not being pushed off your land if you are a landless peasant. It doesn't mean that girls can get to school. These are issues of discrimination, powerlessness, uh, insecurity that have to be tackled, and money does not provide the solution there. And so is it uh, then a matter of uh, better legislation in uh, nation states so that everybody has the right to uh, physical and, and, and psychological integrity? I wish it were as easy as that. The reality is that you need resources, yes, uh, poor need assets. The reality is that the poor need empowerment, not only enrichment. I think they have to be able to take control of their lives, they have to be able to hold decision makers to account, they have to be able to participate in decisions that affect their life. Those are the things that bring about real change to people living in poverty. So human rights, in a sense, are a matter of power? Human rights are the instruments by which the powerless hold the powerful to account. And the poor uh, should be able to demand their rights and hold the decision makers to account. How can we uh, organize that in a world where the, the laws are national, while the economy has been globalized to such an extent that a lot of the discrimination and the poverty is created on a global scale? Well, this is where international law, international human rights law becomes so important because they set standards that the international community, that means all governments, have collectively agreed to. And this puts an obligation on all governments to then apply those laws nationally in their national systems, but then to be held accountable internationally by their peers. The relationship between international law and national law becomes even more important in a globalized system. And, but you still speak about governments only as being responsible businesses, transnationals are not held accountable until of now. Of course, a globalized system has created, has meant that other actors have come into play. Uh, business is one, corporate actors, uh, big financial institutions are another. Um, they also actually affect people's lives and have an impact on human rights. And they have responsibility at the international level. And in some cases, in most cases, uh, those responsibilities that they have have to be enforced at the national level. So there are some gaps. I would say international legal system is under strain as globalization has brought new actors and new problems, uh, particularly in the business field. And those gaps have to be filled and all actors that actually have power have to be held accountable. You will be uh, in a debate with the Belgian Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, on April 20th. What would you expect from a Belgian Minister of Foreign Affairs in terms of uh, human rights? Well, the Belgian government has committed itself to indivisibility of rights. That means to recognizing both economic, social and cultural rights as well as political and civil rights. I hope that the minister will be ready and willing to implement that approach internationally, particularly because Belgium will soon have the presidency of the European Union and Belgium, as the EU president, will have an opportunity at the UN in September to ensure that human rights are taken into account when there is the summit on poverty and the Millennium Development Goals.